So I hope you enjoyed my story. I hope it uplifted you and encourages you and all that stuff. So I'm on the road to becoming a servant of God of the highest calling, a.k.a. pastor. I didn't know that I would be here. As I said, I originally went to Tyndale as an English major, but God's plans are never yours. And yeah, this season is a really exciting season, but tough season. Because I know in a couple years I'll have to leave to start. I'll have to leave my church to start ministering and going around the world. Um, and to start Emancipation Community Fellowship Center, which is one of the branches of Emancipation Ministries, which I said before, this is my ministry. So, um, and it's going to be ki kind of like a church and a community center all into one. The sermons will be different. I won't be just standing there and preaching. It'll be more interactive and we'll have separate time for worship and you know just a different way of doing church God's way because one thing I find about God he changes all the time and he doesn't he doesn't change but his methods do and I think sometimes um, the church is so stuck in their methods that they don't bother to think God God's think of God's methods we're not, um, we're not beings of our own. We're all bought with a price, as Timothy says. Um, so I think we should start thinking outside the box, and that's what Emancipation Community Fellowship Center will be like. But uh, the amazing thing I find about God, he's shown me each and every step to take from my school, from whatever. I have pages and pages of what he wants me to do when I get out of school to start this ministry. Not only, the, not only the fellowship center, but the other aspects, the media, the more media aspects of the ministry. Like, um, he wants me to uh, start a talk show for Christian people where, where we actually help people, where people don't just come on and get interviewed. It's like, kind of an Oprah thing, but not really, um, and a, a music thing, and a publishing thing, and all these different things, so I'm excited about what God's doing in my life, and I hope you're excited about what he's doing in yours. My advice would be just let him take control. Don't, don't bother to question him, because when you do that, uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> It just just go along and make sure it's him leading you, whether in your life or in any aspect of your life. Make sure it's him leading you. Um, also, what I wanted to do was give you the YouTube information. So here it is. Um, go to YouTube.com 